you are watching Redicon. Welcome to the chapter 3 of the RPO course. This is really the soul of radiation safety which drives all other actions of measurement, analysis, policies and protection. Aim and objectives of this session are to become familiar with the mechanisms of different types of biological effects following exposure to the ionizing radiation and also to be aware of the models used to derive risk coefficients for estimating the detriment. And this chapter presentation is divided in seven parts. We will analyze the mechanism of biological effects of radiation starting from atomic or molecular level to microscopic, macroscopic and then its expression or gross morphology. We will classify the effects on the exposed individuals and chances to the offsprings. We will further discuss a few epidemiological studies and related issues and finally the concept of radiation detriment. First and the longest part of this chapter is mechanism of radiation effects on living body. We will discuss various modes of exposure, molecular and cellular mechanisms with further discussion on the dose response curve, radio sensitivity and acute radiation syndrome. Dose of the exposure and length of exposure seem to have an impact on the biological effects. Radiation exposure can be high dose with large amount of radiation such as occupational accidents or low dose with short amount of radiation such as medical imaging. Another way to describe the radiation exposure is acute versus chronic exposure. Acute large amount of radiation in short time such as radiation therapy, industrial accidents or military uses of nuclear energy. The chronic exposure is short amount of energy over long period of time like the staff in medical imaging. This is predominantly the area which an RPO will address to minimize effects of chronic exposure with adequate monitoring and policy enforcement and hopefully that should be enough to prevent any high dose or acute exposure. Radiation provides energy to substances along its pathway. The electrons along the pathway are rejected with the given energy. This is ionization. We know that ionization can be directly ionizing or indirectly ionizing. Directly ionizing radiation such as alpha particles transfer energy more intensely in an extremely small area, directly damaging cells. Other radiations such as x-rays, gamma rays act via ionization of water creating radical components which facilitate further chemical reactions damaging biomolecules. This process is called indirect action. When radiation hits a cell, it may damage DNA inside the cell, but such damage is repaired by inherent human body systems. Minor damage is successfully repaired and DNA is restored as seen on the right side of the picture. In certain instances, the cells cannot be fully repaired and they die. If other cells can replace them, dysfunction does not occur. However, when a large number of cells die or degenerate, there is possibility that deterministic effect will appear, such as hair loss, cataract, skin injury, or other acute disorders, as well as fetal disorders, as seen in the middle part of the picture when repair failed. In third scenario, when the cell in which genes were not completely repaired survives, cell genes may mutate and cause stochastic effects such as cancer or hereditary disorders, as seen on the left side of the picture. DNA damage is not only by radiation, but also by carcinogens in the food, tobacco, chemical substances in the environment, and active oxygen. Damage due to the low dose exposures is significantly less compared to the metabolic DNA damage. However, 
radiation provides energy locally and causes complicated damage affecting multiple parts in the DNA. This slide describes a possible pattern of DNA damage where two DNA strands are fragmented along the track of radiation. After the initial insult, the repair begins and the red fragment is attached to blue body and vice versa. This is abnormal translocation of DNA and genes which can be associated with pathological expression such as tumor formation. This is one example of DNA mutation. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMEs, please visit www.radicon.org.